Good morning, guys. We're back in action. We, uh, we've had a lot of rain, as you guys know, but we just can't, we can't wait for it to stop because we are so behind. We need to get things started. So I have one truck. Sean has another truck. He's going to get mulch. And uh, I'm going to head to the property now and get started de-weeding stuff. So uh, stay tuned. You're coming along. All right, so I made it here to the property. Sean shouldn't be too far behind. I'm going to get ready. So all this here needs cleared. It's all weeds. Needs cleared away which the ground is wet, so it's gonna, it's gonna be really easy to do. And then I have my brute bucket here, just load it in there and then we'll dump it into uh, the dump trailer whenever it gets here. It's like pulling carpet. So the hula hoe I'm using gets underneath the weed into the root area and helps pull it out of the dirt. So what I'm going to do real quick is grab the blower and just blow all the leaves out of the bed. Uh, that way I can see what I'm working with a little better. I looked over and I saw the neighbor walking towards me and this gentleman does not look happy. So we're gonna see how we can resolve this issue real quick. What time does your mailman typically come? Clock, I won't deliver. I'm, I'm asking, what time does your mailman typically oh, come? Any time between nine and 11 o'clock. Nine and 11? You guys do this stuff for a living? Yeah. You wanna do mine? We can give you an estimate for sure. All right. He's supposed to be leaving any second and then I'll pull forward but I'll keep an eye on it. If I see her or him coming, right. I'll move it out of the way. 
How long are you gonna be here then? Probably four hours. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, they're getting everything done around the landscape, so. Okay. Uh, can you give me a kind of a rough estimate, maybe? Or, I'm, I'm gonna leave it here in a little bit. Yeah, I'll walk around. Give me a minute here. Let me get this started and All I'll right. come over. What's your name? Dave. Dave, I'll come over in a second. I'm Sean. If you happen to leave, I'll leave you a business card on the door. Okay, that one yeah, yeah, it'll have the number, Maybe everything. About an hour. Okay. It's all about how you talk to them, guys.
strawberry bush, it doesn't look like it's gonna make it. So I'm gonna recommend to the customer that we remove it. All right guys, so we're changing it up. We both just got warnings on our phone. Big storm heading our way. So it says we got about 45 minutes. What we're gonna do is get the mulch out of the bed first. With the wind picking up from the storm, this camera got super shaky, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a lot of this out here. So as most of you can tell, we have not cut in our new edge just yet. And we haven't done that for a specific reason. With this storm coming, we're trying to get as much of this mulch out and into these beds utilizing the machine. Because we know once it rains with as soft as the ground is already, if it rains, these machines are no longer going to be any help. And we're going to be wheelbarrowing all this mulch.
All right, guys, so we got super lucky and the first storm missed us. But as you're going to see here in just a moment, there's another one coming. But we're like, hey, let's seize the opportunity here to cut this front edge in. At least if we have to stop, we'll be done and over with the front bed and it'll be completely done. Well, I thought, hey, let's keep on going. Maybe the second one will miss us as well. And we should have just stopped. We knew better and we're going to pay for it. So we know once it rains, we're no longer going to be able to use the mulch force. So we want to go ahead and get this edge cut in so we can get all this heavy sod material up to the dump trailer so that we don't have to wheelbarrow it. So this area here took a little bit longer, so I went ahead and sped it up. Simply, I was unaware that there used to be a large rock bed here. Well, this thing kept running into those big rocks, and I'll just tell you right now, that cutting edge does not like big rocks, so it'll stop the machine. I figure some of you will ask, do we charge the same thing for this mulching versus cutting in a new edge like we're doing here? Basically, we're reshaping the beds. Totally different prices, guys. You got to factor in the time and the hard work that's going to come into play here. These, these big chunks of sod are no joke. They get heavy. And if you don't have the proper machinery, you're going to be busting your behind.
anyone? Well, guys, I work in a lot of stuff, but hell ain't one of them. Hell Look at it all over your hoodie. <laughs> That's crazy. We just got blasted with ice. That's going to make the sod a lot heavier, too. I'm glad we're almost done. Yeah. We're going to see if it passes over. It's not looking promising, honestly, but I don't want to have to abandon this job site, but we can't work in hell. I mean, this stuff is blasting us. Yeah. We just had a big flash of lightning and thunder. We are getting pummeled by hell right now. How's the insurance, babe? It's good. It's current. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the 22 might need a paint job. It's almost three o'clock. Well, three o'clock now. Look at it hitting the door. Insane. Look at this, guys. We are getting pummeled. Sorry, multi force. We oh, got oh, lucky. The GoPros are out there too. Hey, we can replace <laughs> GoPros. I can't replace knots on my head. Yeah. It started bouncing off, and they were like real teeny at first, like the size of like dot, dipping dots, and then it just got bigger, quick as could be. The whole road right now is covered in ice. It's insane. We had maybe another hour here, and now this is gonna definitely kill the mood. Good morning everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Friday morning? Good morning. We're back and we're ready to attack. Yep. You weren't <laughs> gonna follow that up with nothing TQ? We're back ready to attack. This time we played it a little smarter. Yes we're gonna have to work a little harder today but we're gonna get the job done what it's all about. It is. And I didn't wear a hat today because I want some sunshine on my face.
Thank you. Watch out. Is that enough anymore? Oh, that should be good. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Can't complain. Looks like it's better than yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Hey, you guys want to check today or what? Whatever you prefer. If you want to pay today, we can take that. Uh, we can email you and you can pay it online. Whatever you prefer. All right guys, quick tip for you. If you ever look at somebody's mulch job compared to yours and you're like, man, it's really smooth, mine's kind of lumpy. Uh, a lot of times that can be your mulch. It can, if you don't buy like a fine mulch, a good quality mulch, but also it could be your final prep. So what you want to do is take the back side of your shovel, this side, and run it across it. And what it'll do is level that mulch out so it'll look nice and smooth. Oh, you're fine. Oh no, you're no. you're fine. Power of recording. editing. <laughs> I didn't know if I was uh, standing in the wrong place. Nope, you're good. Oh wait, was it even there? Yeah. Well, it was there. We moved it. Um. So this happens from time to time. The customers are excited, you know, they want to be out in their lawn. So they came out right whenever I was going to do the final prep here and just talked to us for probably about 10-15 minutes here while we were finishing cleaning up and just, you know, chit-chat and having a good time. And, you know, we're not going to be rude and not talk to the customer. You know, it doesn't bother us. 
it just kind of was at the point right here where I wanted to give you guys some final tips, uh, you know, on how to make your mulch look the best. So I already told you about using the backside of your rake. Yes, I know it's not a shovel, but uh, I also wanted to show you, you know, you can use the end of your rake. A hard rake works really well. Uh, I didn't get a good shot here just because I was distracted, I guess you could say, but tamp down the edge or use your foot to give a nice clean edge. All right, guys, TQ got to check. That's always an important part. <laughs> got a few clumps here I got to pick up, but we're just uh, wrapping up here. The little buds are coming off now since it got that storm. New bed edge cut in, rounded it the way they wanted. Looks really good. And the customer is going to do their own leaf cleanup. So we just got them away from the bed so that they don't blow right back in. Looks really good. Shaped these all up. Didn't touch those. New bed edge cut all the way around. Cut those all down. And then on up to there. So if you guys remember, the biggest concern here was the customer wanted this brought out. It was probably about six inches. We brought it out about a foot, foot and a half. We cut it once yesterday and then the customer asked to have it out a little bit more. So we went ahead and evened it up. Mainly they want to be able to mow and just be able to bring the mower right on around the edge and make it nice and simple. So we just got done with this one and the neighbor asked us to give an estimate to do his as well. So I'm gonna take a quick walk. I will say it's like a ditch here, super saturated. So probably be at least a couple weeks, but ton of leaves up here in the beds. So blow these all out. The bed wraps around almost similar to that one, just wraps to the corner. The uh, retaining wall could use some love. So we got one, two, bed out here, ton of sticks. Three, four, these beds. See all the sticks, ton of clean up here. You'll spend probably, probably just an hour cleaning up all the sticks. A couple little beds out here. Something you want to look for, there's no edge on them, so they need re-edged, needs re-edged. So you're looking at 20 feet, six feet, six feet, another 20 feet. So just roughly 50 feet right there around that edge. Tree rings, another, I'd say probably 20, maybe 10. Another one here, you're looking at probably 25 feet. That bed there edged. You're looking at probably 15 feet. And then all the way around the front, you're looking at about 35 feet, 40 feet of edging. You can use Element software. Link in the description to check it out as well. I do have to tell you guys that is a ad because we are sponsored by them. But you can come in and literally do the measurements on these beds with the uh, satellite image and get yourself an exact number. I'm just doing rough. We're giving a rough estimate here to just see if the customer is even interested in, and then you kind of go from there. For something like this, you're probably gonna be roughly close to a couple thousand bucks just for everything. That's taking the leaves out, re-edging everything, mulch, uh, cleaning all the sticks up, leaf clean up, and that's just for the front. That's all he asks is about. He has no landscaping around the backside. So uh, from the front forward, that's probably where you'd be probably a couple grand what were you thinking same thing yeah yeah okay five grand no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> i like the way you're thinking tq <laughs> all right guys we just got done and it's currently starting to hail and rain once again these are a lot smaller than yesterday but uh we knew bad weather was coming so i'm glad we got it beat and got it done absolutely there i did not want to work through that another day no that was not fun kind of put us behind a couple hours which was frustrating but we got it done like always so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you have a great friday evening as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later tq out peace bye tq has no voice if you can't tell <laughs>